All right, guys, we got the three back plugs out. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we're actually going to change the spark plugs on a 2012 Chevy Impala. I believe this should be similar for any 2006 to 2016 Chevy Impala with a 3.6 liter uh, V6 engine in it. So uh, we're going to go ahead and change those out. This has 100,000 miles on it. I don't know who owned it before me. Um, so we're not sure if they've ever been changed. So it's a good idea when that, when you're in that scenario to just go ahead and change them out. Um, improves efficiency, drives better, things like that. So we're going to go ahead, pull the spark plug, show you guys what they look like. Uh, go ahead and put the new ones in and uh, go ahead from there. All right, guys. So as you can see, it's the V6. We got one, two, three right here. And then I'll see if I can show you the rear ones here behind the intake. Um, yeah, it's pretty dark, but we've got uh, one two and three back there so it shouldn't be too bad to get to them um so we'll go ahead and you know we'll do the hard ones first we'll go ahead and pull the rears and uh and then we'll get back to you and show you what they look like Hey guys, we got the three back plugs out, and you can see that focus there. Um, they don't look too bad. I don't think these uh, have 100,000 miles on them, I'll tell you that right now. Um, yeah, and they're probably iridium? Not sure. Um, they're also champions, so guys, comment down below and let me know. Um, if GM used champions as OEM, I doubt it. I'm guessing somebody changed these at some point. Also, the uh, the bolts actually on the um, on the coil packs were loose, which uh, that's not cool. But um, you can tell somebody was in there messing around before. So I'm gonna go ahead and replace these with uh, iridiums. So I actually got Bosch replacements, guys, and um, as you can see, they are also iridium. Um, these particular ones are not gappable, and you don't have to gap them. It actually says it right on the package. Um, so, yeah, you just go ahead and put them right on in there, and uh, should be good to go. I think I might coat them with a little WD-40 before they go in, uh, just to make it a little bit easier, because the uh, old ones getting them out were a little, uh, were a little tight. gonna lie guys those rears they're a bit of a bear so the engine she's in there like this so these right here are really easy but those back there you can't see them she's gonna feel around i'd use a couple universal joints to get them but we got them we got three new plugs back there so let's go ahead and uh, get get this front portion done now
same thing here guys they look pretty good but can't hurt to change them And lastly guys, it's time to fire it up. Make sure she still runs. Hopefully, even a little smoother than it did. All right, runs great. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in there. We've got the spark plugs changed on the 2012 Impala. Hopefully it helped you if you're going to tackle this project. Um, scale 1 to 10, I'd probably rate this about a 5 just because the uh, rears were pretty hard to get to, but very doable for anyone with the proper tools. Make sure you have a universal joint um, to get into those tight spots um, in the backside there for the back three cylinders. But overall, not too bad. Runs like a dream. No issues there. So... If this video helped you out, be sure to like and subscribe down below. I've got more videos like this coming and more in the past if you want to check me out. Also, drop your comments. Let me know what you thought and if uh, you need any help with anything like that. Um, until next time, guys, get out, do it yourself.